yo, what is up, the old internet peeps, and welcome back to Industrial World. Now, we're in my survival world at the moment. I am in creative, but just ignore that. It's just so I can show you around easier. And what we're doing today is, like the title of the video suggests, we are introducing the concept of electricity. So if I go close to this generator here now, you'll see that our available power is 510 kilowatts an hour. And the quarry will only function if there is... Um, enough power to power it. So the quarry takes 50 units of power. So if we wait till this hopper runs out, you will see that when the quarry fires, it deposits some power. And there we go, we stay at 510 because it fueled the generator from that hopper. <laughs> Now, if you go and look at this dropper, we'll see it's full of um, coal, because this is a coal-fired generator. So what happens is, if you uh, push the button, it will add some coal into the generator, and then the quarry is set, whenever this comparator detects that this hopper is empty, it will power the quarry as long as this lever is pulled. But the quarry will only power, if it's got enough power to use it and the tunnel bores work the same way so if I just quickly let's turn on the tunnel bore machine there we go so now when we place our tunnel bore it will function so let's stick one down oh quarry's off again and uh, we'll stick one down right about here and we'll just set the scoreboard objectives Set display, sidebar, and we'll do fuel. There we go. So now we're looking at the power. So now if we name this tunnel bore, tunnel bore west, you'll see as he digs, the power is going down because these machines require power to run. So we'll just break him. So we've demonstrated the, the point quite admirably. And we'll go and turn the tunnel bore off and we'll show you basically the the basic functionality for how to set this up okay so here we are at the generator now as you can see when it deposits a coal when it detects it's colliding with the armor stand it then adds a certain amount to the power so if we go to the spawn point and I'll show you the code that's powering it. This initial block here is just testing to see if the generator is above a furnace. It will only function if it is stationed above a furnace. Regardless of the orientation, it needs to be above a furnace. If that is true, it will light up this section here, which will then allow these checks. So we're doing a coal generator. We're checking to see if we're executing at the generator. We're checking to see if there's a coal within one tile. If there is, we're gonna add scoreboard um, a fuel. The same with charcoal. And now here is the coal block, which just adds even more, and the lava block, which adds even more. So the idea is, is what you would do is you would go, right, we're going to set up a fuel and energy system for this world. So we'll, we'll do a scoreboard first. So we're going to do a scoreboard objectives, and we'll do add. And we want to do... Um, We'll call it generator because I already have some available. It needs to be a dummy, so it can contain an integer, and now we give it a name. So we'll call it available power. Boom. Oh, okay. Um, ah, yes, because I put a space in, we need to do available power in quotation marks, so it ignores the spaces. And then what we can do is we can do scoreboard objectives, set, display sidebar and we'll do generator and there we go now we've got our available power showing on the right hand side so what we would do is if um, we'll get rid of that so we'll just do scoreboard objectives remove uh, generator <coughs> let's get rid of that for now so if you would set yours up exactly the same as me, so that you would call it fuel, and the display name is uh, available power, you just simply, every time you detect the item that you want to uh, generate fuel at the generator, so you put armor stand down, call it generator, and then every time it detects a collision with coal, it will add the relevant amount of fuel to energy, and then it will kill 
whatever you have used as fuel. So we, we're, we're gonna throw coal at the generator. It's gonna detect it, it's gonna add 50, and then it's gonna kill the coal so it only ever adds 50. Because otherwise if the coal sat there, it would just add 50 every tick, and we don't want that because that's just a bit too cheaty. So, how do we make this so the energy, the machines require fuel? Very simple, simple check. This is my remote control system, so you'll have a series of levers to activate each block, but this is the one we're looking at. We're going to scoreboard players test and make sure they've got enough fuel to run this machine. In this case, this is a tunnel bore. So, every time the tunnel bore ticks over, it's going to say, do we have enough fuel to run it? If that is true, it's going to run the tunnel bore, then at the very end, it's going to the very end, it's at the very end. There we go. It's going at some point along that line. It's going to remove the right amount of fuel. The same with the quarry. We're going to check to see if it has at least fifty fuel because it requires fifty fuel to power it. Power it. <laughs> power it. And then once it's done its job, we'll remove fifty fuel. So it's, it really is that simple. You set an objective. Every time you want to fuel add power to your machinery, you just uh, detect the item at the generator, uh, kill, uh, add the right amount of fuel, and then kill the item. And then every time you want to run the machine, you just query that fuel count to see if it's got the amount of fuel in it that you want to run the machine. Which is very, very simple, very, very straightforward. And at some point, I will demonstrate this to you guys, which looks pretty unassuming right now. Looks pretty, but if you, if I set uh scoreboard objectives set display and then we'll do sidebar sidebar and we'll do nuclear power <laughs> you might have an idea what this machine is yes ladies and gentlemen this is a fully functioning nuclear reactor in minecraft vanilla on the xbox 360 so if we just turn that on now, remove the control rods, you will see the nuclear power is going nuts. So if we do another scoreboard, object, objectives, and we'll do a set display on the sidebar, and we want to do fuel, which will display our available power. And you will notice that our kilowatts per hour is steadily increasing. So now, if we were to uh, run our little tunnel bore west, so we'll plonk him down here. I mean, we don't, we don't have him turned on at the moment, so it's not really gonna be a good de demonstration. But you will see that our available fuel is going up. But the downside to this is that the, uh, if I show you, scoreboard objectives, set display, side, sidebar, core temp. So now you will notice that the core temperature of the reactor is slowly climbing. Now once that core temperature reaches critical mass, it will detonate. So this whole thing will explode in a huge reactor explosion, it will spew lava everywhere, and it will generally be pretty sick. So at some point, if there's enough interest, I will show you guys how the core, the core code works, because all of this here, all these command blocks, all these command blocks, all these AND gates, all these repeaters, redstone, all these command blocks are what is going into powering the functionality for this nuclear reactor. So, as you can see, I've removed the reactor control rod. Oh, sorry, I've placed in the reactor control rod so the temperature has cooled down. So now if we remove the reactor control rod, it will start to go up and you will see if I do the fuel again, that we are now generating power and if I turn it off you will see we are no longer generating power again as I showed you all these machines require this power to run so just to reiterate that point we will duck back down into the base we'll turn that on we'll put the armor stand down name it and as you can see, it is using up the power. So now these machines require power to run. 
it required generators either coal fired or nuclear powered. I am gonna implement solar panels at some point. Let me just go and turn this off. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time with even more crazy vanilla Xbox One bedrock contraptions. Bye bye now.